Hey, shout out to uh, legendary brother Marquise. And you know what's what's, what's uh, uh, crazy about you, uh, Fresh Kid Ice, is not only are you a pioneer of the South, you're one of the early West Coast pioneers. You know what I'm saying? So you were there at the beginning stages, the early stages of both. You know what I'm saying? When you were over on the West Coast, I want to ask you this real quick. Were you there? You, you were there before NWA was there, right? Yeah. We were there, you know, a um, long time ago, back in 84. You know what I'm saying? You know, we, we had meetings with Jerry Heller. And, you know, he wanted to manage two live crew. But at that time, we were getting out of the military and so forth. So, you know, we made our move down to the south. You know what I'm saying? So, Oh, Heller wanted to manage you. Yeah, we, because uh, Madonna McMillan, who owned McCollum Records, sent us over to Hella, you know, because um, Hella was doing a lot of things with the Dream Team, the L.A. Dream Team at the, at that time and so forth, you know. And I remember going yeah. to the Radio Tron with Mr. Mix and Amazing V and out there talking, you know, with Ice T and all that stuff, you know, in early, early days, man, like 84, 85. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Hey, Chris. Hey, Chris. Yeah, I'm here. Hey, this bootleg from the day something, man. I'm, hey, hey, back in back in 1992, right? The first concert the Dayton family over, ever opened up for was two live crew at the Saginaw Civic Center in Michigan. Okay, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Hey, Saginaw, love. I remember yeah, that. all day long. Saginaw, then everything from Saginaw to Flint to. Uh, it was another area down there that 